Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you the first episode, first ever episode of any Football Manager series on my channel. We're going to be doing a Manchester United career mode now. I'm not going to be making any signings in the summer window because I want to have the same squad that Louis van Gaal has available to him. Now, leave comments and suggestions for who we should sign in January. Obviously a bit closer to the time because we're in August. I'm going to be doing roughly about 4 or 5 games an episode. We'll see how it goes. 20 to 30 minutes I think would probably be the best uh, times to do for an FM career. I've, I've seen quite a few and that seems to be the optimum times. Let me know if you want it less or more and I'll see what I can do. Also I've downloaded the kits and the badges, um, you know, external downloads that you can get so it adds a little bit more realism. If you want the links for them, let me know and I'll put them in in the next episode. But anyway, I've done the pre-season, we're up to the first game in the Premier League. Um, so I'll show you, you know, any injuries and shit that we've got, the actual uh, performance of the team. So we'll go on to schedule and we're undefeated in the uh, pre-season, which sometimes can be a bad thing because it's a lack of motivation. Um, sometimes the teams get a bit, well, the team gets a bit complacent thinking that, you know, that they're better. Sometimes it's better to get a couple of losses so they know that they need to improve. Uh, but in fairness, the teams we've had, Bar Hoffenheim and Montpellier weren't really too hard anyway, so you know I'm I'm not going to be disappointed with undefeated preseason too much. Um, the first two games we got in the league, Newcastle and West Brom, I would expect six points to be honest. Uh, it's a pretty good start. Then we've got a best place playoff, um, and then a couple of hard games, Arsenal, Chelsea. But the the ones I'm looking at in the schedule are Manchester City and Liverpool back to back. The two most important fixtures for Manchester United during their season are both back to back so you know that could make or break a season really like in terms of how the fans respond to me so we'll see how it goes. In terms of the squad Wayne Rooney's out for three to five days which is a bit disappointing because we, we don't really have too many strikers. Marouane Fellaini he obviously had his ban early well at the start of the season and he's got that in the game three matches. Um, Memphis is out for well between one and two weeks and Phil Jones is out for five to eight weeks. Bar that, everyone else is fit. So yeah, let's get into the first game. Well, actually, no, we've got a best place playoff draw. See who we get. Can who are we gonna get? Come on. Oh <laughs> no! I hate getting CSK in Moscow. Honestly, I despise getting them because they're so good on this team. Uh, they uh, sorry, this game. They've beaten me as Manchester United a few times. I'm great. <sighs> Wilson's out for five to six weeks. Oh my days. Right, focus on your recovery. Well done. Um, you know what? We barely have a striker, so I'm going to have to dip into the under 21s. Um, right, Will Keane is injured himself, and he's also out on loan, so I'm going to promote Rashford into the squad, at least temporarily, just so we've got a striker on the bench because we only have Martial. Memphis, who can play as a striker, is injured. Rooney's injured, and now Wilson's injured. So literally, we've got Marcel. I'll quick pick that for now. Um, which is a bit disappointing, right? I'm gonna put Luke Shaw on for Daily Blind, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put Daily Blind on as centre back. I know on this game that isn't where he plays. He does in real life, obviously, but he's he's pretty versatile on this game anyway, and he's very very good. Rojo sometimes makes a bit of mistakes, so I'm gonna break him into the squad, uh, you know, gently. I think the rest of the team I'm quite happy with, quite happy with their roles as well. Mata could perhaps be a wide playmaker, but I think I'm gonna keep him as that for now. Happy with that. 4-3-3. We'll go with this. If it doesn't work, I've got a 4-4-2 ready to go. But considering you know Rashford would be the other striker, he's a bit too young yet, so. Uh, we'll leave that for now. He's on the bench. I'm happy with this and we need a win. Oh shit, I didn't do my mentalities actually. Shit, can I change them last minute? Yes, I can. That's good then. Right, I'm going to control and we're going to play flexible. Um, passionate. We are the favourites. Give the fans something to cheer for. They listen keenly. There was no negative reactions, no positive either. So it could have been better, could have been worse. I'm not too bothered. As long as we get the win, I really couldn't care less. Right, come on lads. I think it said Cruel's out, or did I did I misread that? I'm not sure. But Rooney's definitely out for us, which is a bit annoying. He's really good on this game, Rooney. If you can get him in, 
the correct spots. Right, come on. Is this our chance? Please. Right, Herrera. Out to my, it didn't quite go, but Domi, what a ball, and that is unreal. Yeah, Krul is out. Good save, Darlow. <sighs> Should be 1 0 up, though. Come on, lads. Keep playing like this. It'll be good. Come on. Well, I'll say keep playing like this. We've had one chance in half an hour. Sounds like the real Manchester United. In this game, actually, Louis van Gaal at Old Trafford got a 0-0 draw against Newcastle, so I do want to bet at that. But at the minute, one chance is all we've had, and it's half-time, and it's 0-0. So I'm going to calmly tell them I'm far from pleased with what I've just saw. Right, who have I got my eye on? Schweinsteiger is underperforming, and so is Daily Blind. So hopefully, you know, that motivation can see them improve their game, because... Yeah, we certainly need three points at home to Newcastle. Oh, I don't think that's really a chance, is it? Right, come on, corner. Is this our chance? Please. Right, comes out to Young. Young, still Young. Is he going to get it in? Oh, oh, he scored! Oh, it's a Perez own goal. Fucking hell. I thought that went all the way in from Young. Let's see what happened here. Where's Perez? Eh? Did that actually hit off Perez? I'm not too sure. Well, apparently it's a Perez own goal. Ashley Young gets the assist. Happy days, 1-0. I don't care how they go in, as long as they do. Right. I think we'll make it standard now. Um, <laughs> early on, I just want to make sure I'm getting the points. So, um, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to take a couple of precautions, which I'm sure Louis van Gaal would approve with. In the long run, obviously, I want to be really attacking and everything, but I just want to have a solid start to the season so we can build off on it. And uh, I'm, I'm prioritising points over performance, at least for the early stages of the season. So, yeah, we'll keep it like that for now. The defence ratings are alright. Rojo, a little under, but I've just subbed them on, so I'm not going to sub them off. Right, is this our chance now? Oh, that's a brilliant ball, Matt. Uh, shoot, is that a penalty? No, no penalty, so is this their highlight? No, it, it's still ours, right? Herrera, that's the second time. Marcial, come on, Matt. Uh, Oh, what a save, Darlo. Darlo seems to be doing really well, actually, for Newcastle. Smalling again, heads over. That's his second opportunity recently. Right, Matt is on a yellow, but I think we should be alright. Unless they break away from this. No, they haven't. Right, go on, show. Young comes back to Young somehow. Marcia and Darlo saved it again. Just end the game, man. I just want the win, alright? I'm not bothered how we do it as long as it's done. Oh, we keep trying that long ball. Have I set the tactic to do that? Like, uh, on the side when it says Giggs' comments. A lot of them I do agree with, because a lot of the time your assistant manager knows what they're talking about. Sometimes there's a lot of, like, bullshit in there that you need to sift through and be careful of, because it, it will harm your team. Sometimes some of the tactics they say, uh, it just doesn't work. It's like real life. You just have to pinpoint what does and what doesn't. Right, this just seems to pe be petering out until the end of the game. I hope that's what it is. Yeah, I think so. Unless they literally score this. No, they haven't. Right, I'll take that. 1-0. That's better than what we got in real life. So, I am going to say that it was a bit of a let-off, though. Because, you know, against better opposition, even though we did dominate, as you can see from the stats, it's still, you know, only a 1-0 at home. So... Steady, steady progress. Um, I'm pleased with the win. It's only one match. Um, yeah, he played very well. Two, two questions. That's all right. Let me know how much of this you want me uh, to do. Like, do you want me to do the full thing, or just highlights like the the games, injuries, or signings and stuff, or do you literally want to see every single second? Because uh, I'm not really bothered. Uh, Jan Matt's happy that I praised him. So. For this episode, I'm going to skip until the next game unless there's any important information before that. So yeah, I'll be back when we play West Brom. Alright, we're back for this West Brom game. And again, wait, Rooney's back. I'm auto-picking just to see you know, what my assistant sees, but I'll make any recommended changes, of course. So, the last game, Luke Shaw was alright, I suppose, but... I do need to make sure this is balanced out. Everyone's got decent fitness, not in the midfield though, so what I might do is rest Schweinsteiger for this game, put Carrick in there, 
Um, Rooney's back from injury. I'm, I'm going to risk him just purely for the fact that I think we do need someone who's a bit proven. Um, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Uh, there's no striker on the bench. Oh, yeah, there is Martial, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Keep the same. Uh, we've got a very important game against CSKA next, so we need to make sure that we win that one. But first of all, we've got a game here, so again, we need to win this one. It's West Brom away. You would expect us to win it, although we have drawn against West Brom quite a few times under the Van Hal era. I remember 2-2. Two, two. Has it been 2-2? Two, 2-2s. Two? Two, two, two. I'm not sure. I know we did draw 2-2 two, two in, well, the season Di Maria and Falcao here when we finished fourth. Uh, I think Fellaini and um, Lind got the goals, actually, didn't they? Right, who was that? Someone injured? Or was it just someone who was looking exhausted? Um, let's have a look. Uh, hmm, Young. Alright, if he gets another knock, then I'll sub him off for Valencia or Lingard. We'll see how it goes. Right, shit, we're on at 1 0. Oh, fucking defense is shit, man! Fuck's sake! Fucking West Brom, come on! The fuck? <sighs> Great, Matt is injured. Hurrah! Yay! Just what I wanted to hear. Right, we'll put Valencia on there. I'm considering bringing Young off soon, but the defence has been wank. Look at that, 6.2 ratings. Fuck off, man. Just fuck off. If we go 2 0 behind just before half time. Alright, fair enough. Well, it's not fair enough. We're still losing. <sighs> For fuck's sake, lads. Now, I'm a great. I'm giving you the hairdryer treatment. Fucking hell, man. That's been piss pot. Daily Blend, I'm sorry. You're getting subbed off for Luke Shaw. That's two early substitutions that I didn't want to make, but something needs to be done. That's bloody pathetic. This team should be used to the hairdryer treatment from uh, Fergie. Then again, there's hardly any of that team left from Ferguson's era, is there? Ah, oh, come on! What the fuck? You know what? Screw it. We're gonna go attacking. We're losing one nil anyway, so. Oh my god, the ratings are fucking shite. Sixtieth minute. I'm. I'm gonna probably. Uh, I might have to take Rooney off just for the for the fitness. I'm considering either taking Young or Rooney off. I might. Uh, um. Peary in the air. Alright, fuck it, we need a crosser. Fuck it, I'm gonna put Jesse Lingard on. Right, come on. I'll keep Rooney on, I'm keeping faith. Our crossing's been particularly poor, great. Oh, at least get a draw. Even that shit, but a loss. Right, good tackle, good ta Character spinning around in the midfield, as you do. This is like pinball. Fuck's sake! Get a foot in! They're gonna make it two? Oh. Alright, corner. Usually nothing happens of these. Smalling with the header away. I'm pretty sure that was a foul light, but you know. Come on! Fuck's sake! This is probably gonna be too late for this. Push forward. Right, come on. Come on, get back in it. I can't believe I'm saying get back in it against West Brom, but you know. Right, that was a good header down, actually. Right, well done, Damien. Come on, that's a good cross. No one's there. Fuck's sake. That's good, that's good, that's good. Off the post! No! Fuck off! Was that Lingard or Valencia? I think it was Lingard. <sighs> Fuck's sake, it's a loss. Seek. Fuck off, aggressive again. Bullshit, man. Fucking bullshit. We got outplayed as well. We deserve to lose that one. Ugh. Right, these are youngsters. Oh, great. And one matters out as well. Fantastic. Ugh. Ugh. I 
I don't believe Pulis would deliberately injure anyone. Yes, whatever. Um, it's disappointing, but no, I didn't. Um, right, yeah. We need to get back to winning ways, especially against CSK Moscow. Then we've got Arsenal at home after. I'll forgive the players a little bit if they can win the next two, but if they can't, then I don't know what to say. Really, it's just not good enough. Right. Who's injured? All oh, right, it's another young stuff. Fucking hell! Actually, I need to sort the staff. Right, we've got no tactical coaches really. So place coach. Do we need a fitness coach? How's the fitness? Now the fitness is good. We need a defensive coach. Um, do we need a goalkeeper? No, pretty good. System manager. Gigs is fairly good. Head of youth development. No, we've already got one. Right. Physios, we definitely need an extra physio actually, because our medical team's average. We've got the best scouts in the league apparently, which is good. So, yeah, that's important actually. I didn't even go through that, but yeah, if you didn't know already, um, getting your staff, you know, as close to the top of the league as you can, like the best in the league, is very, very important. Uh, Pereira, yeah, I accepted alone just because of the fact I've made sure, well, I did say there should be a, a loan close. Yeah, it can be recalled. There we go. Um, I'm happy for him to go to QPR. They are, they're offering first team football, and uh, I can recall him if necessary if we get a lot of injuries. Um, I'm going to try and break him into the squad, but probably not in the first half of the season. Um, I can't really. You know, I'm going to say I'm confident in the quality of my squad. The whole team wants to bounce back with a win. I don't have any concerns, even though I do. Um, no, Memphis is not going to get played. Just, ugh, I hate getting recurring injuries. Um, uh, I would say that we have an excellent chance. Even though CSK, I don't know why they're calling them uh, weak. They've beat me before as Manchester United. So I'm not looking forward to this. They are a tough team. Um, and away, uh, I'm going to keep it as standard, but right, 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 right. We need to make sure everyone's fit for this. Right, who have we got? Right, we'll, we'll leave Memphis. No, actually, I'm not going to put Memphis on the bench. I'm going to leave him out for now. Herrera. Um, what's the defence? Daily Blin, no, we'll put you right. I think I'll leave it as that. I think that's alright. I'm gonna give Marawan a chance. He's actually decent in this game. Um, and yeah, I think Herrera played the last game and I dropped Schweinsteiger. I'm gonna try and keep the squad happy because it is very irritating when you don't play players and then they want game time and you can't give them it and they want sold and all this. Right. Right, I've probably said the wrong team talk there, like, but <sighs> come on, this is so important. We cannot fail to qualify for Champions League. We really can't. Right, come on. It's good early play, good early build up, and oh. Oh, this is their chance, isn't it? I hate playing CSK Moscow so much. There's no closing down at all. And that's a good save from here. So already, two minutes in, CSK have had a really good chance. If I feel this formation isn't working, I'll change it to a 4-4-2. We'll try that. Um, retain possession, yeah. Well, that might be a good idea. We've got three midfielders. Right, Fellaini, down to Valencia. Come on, come on. Yes! Get in there, Waza. 1-0. An away goal is vital. Come on. 
It's a good ball from Fellini, a brilliant cross from Valencia. It surprisingly doesn't hit the first man, which usually happens in real life, but yeah. Rooney 1 0, come on. Let's keep this up, lads. Right, they seem to have a bit more possession. Musa, he's so annoying on this game, he really is. Very annoying to deal with. Decent number of shots, most of them are long range effort. I'm not really asked uh, as long as we're winning. Um, today is all about this. Um, I'm going to say I'm happy with their performance. Alright, they look extremely delighted. Sometimes that's a bad thing. So, uh, just hopefully we can keep this up. Ashley Young has been playing poor again. Yeah, I'm going to bring Lingard on. Um, or should I bring Marcial on? Um, I'll bring Marcial on actually. Give him a go. Come on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Fuck, man. 1 1. Oh, that's irritating. I think De Gea could have done a bit better there, like. Where the fuck's he running off to? Tossage, <laughs> a former United player, brilliant. Um, darmian has been playing shit actually. He's went under the radar, so we're gonna have to put Valencia on there, and then we'll put we'll put Lingard on, so he does get his chance. Valencia has been playing really well actually, so hopefully he can hold it in the defence. Just keep it. He's getting higher rating now. Oh no 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 no! Where's the marking? Fuck's sake! How has he got free? There's no one there. And uh, So who's on the lowest rating? Smalling. Great. Someone who's consistently great in real life is shit on the game. Brilliant. We'll give we'll give Daily Plan to go. I don't want to risk too much in the away leg, that's the irritating thing. Ugh, a two one loss. It's, uh, it's irritating, it really is, but I think we can come back into it. <sighs> it's obviously the result that I didn't want, but far from pleased, I'm sick of seeing that. We have to win against Arsenal though, that is imperative. Great, so his half-time team talk inspired them. Cheers, brilliant. <sighs> right, auto-save, so that's that bit done. How long is this video actually? Let's have a look. 25 minutes already. So, I'll tell you what, we'll play the Arsenal game, and then I'll leave the second leg until the next episode. So, one more game in this episode, that'll make it just over 30 minutes, I think, and uh, that should be good. Um, no, 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 I'm, I never see a weak link, like, I, I don't want to seem like a complete cunt, sometimes it work, it probably would work actually, uh, like, just sometimes it's mind games, you need to, you need to beat the manager in the mind games, I think Sir Alex Ferguson said you have to beat the, the media and then you have to beat the team, he said something like that, uh, there's, there's two victories you need every game. Right, Juan Mata, you're definitely not playing because you're injured. I tell you what, Valencia was amazing, so we're not going to drop him. I'm going to play Memphis. Um, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to play 4-4-2 in this game. I'm going to play 4-4-2 because I want Martial to get some game time. Mata again, no. Valencia, you can play. Domin, you are piss poor, so I do want a better performance from you. This might look a bit retarded, but I'm going to put Depay a bit further up. I'm going to change him to an inside forward. That does look really, really retarded, I'm not going to lie, but... Right, how's the fitness for everyone? Getting towards the dead side, to be honest, but... You know what, we'll go with that. If Dormian or Smalling has another, like, calamitous error or something, then I'll consider dropping them, but... For now, 
I know I've, I've left Luke Shaw out again, but it, it's just trying to rotate and keep players happy. Daily Blinder and Luke Shaw are both fantastic on this game. And unfortunately, they're both best in the left-back position, so we can only play one. Um, right, come on, come on. Let's get a nice early goal. Oh, what a save from fucking Czech. That was Lingard, I think. No, he's not even in the... Was that Memphis who had the shot? I'm not sure. Whoever did, good shot, but still nil-nil. Right. Come on. A nice win against Arsenal to close the episode. That would be brilliant. And that's a penalty. Yes, two two mistakes there. Is Koscielny going to get a card? Yes, he's been sent off. That's brilliant. We have to go on to win this now. Swinestar... He's missed. Why is... What? I set Rooney to take the penalties. Why is Schweinsteiger taking them? Oh, no. <sighs> Things could have went from amazing to fucking shite in, like, one minute, but... <sighs> A missed penalty. That... Oh, my God. What the fuck, man? Just... What? Yes, actually. We're gonna... We're gonna play attacking now. Purely because of the fact that they, they don't have... Right, Schweinsteiger's playing really, really bad. So we're gonna sub him off for Herrera. Just... Oh, I can't believe we missed that penalty. I'm pretty sure I've set Rooney to take the penalties. Go out there and give their, their, uh, the fans their money's worth. Right, two of the defenders seem motivated. I think it was Rojo and Blind, actually. Right, a 10 men arsenal. If we can't beat these, what a save. Then there's something seriously wrong. They're, they've been down to 10 men since the 11th minute. And it's their best defender that got sent off as well. Everyone's doing wank. The readings are like 6.5. What the fuck, man? <sighs> Jesus. <sighs> right, Rooney's been pretty dumb. So we're gonna put Memphis up front and we're gonna we're gonna try and inspire a change by putting Young on. I would have put Matter, but he's just returning from an injury and Lingard probably needs a bit more match fitness, so I probably should have brought him on. Schneidlin seems to be having a poor game as well, but we've only got one more sub, so he's on a yellow. I'll wait until the 70th minute. If he's still on 6.4, 6.5, I'll sub him off. Seems as though that's gonna be the case, yeah. We'll have to put Carrick on. How are lads? This is this is pathetic, honestly. I'll change it to fluid. Come on! They're down to ten men. Come on! Oh no! No! Right. Is this? Oh, is there a chance? Oh my God! We're getting outplayed, man. Oh oh! It might actually be our chance. Is it? This, this highlight's confusing as fuck, man. No, it's Arsenal's highlight. Great. Oh, just... Oh, my God. Oh, no. Come on. I thought that went in. I thought that went in. Wow, this has been piss pot. This really has been piss pot. But if, if we get a win here, I'll be delighted. We've been playing shit. Oh, that had to go in! Uh, there's been like no goals, man. We scored one in the league in three games. One in the league, man. This is... Uh, I'm literally Louis van Gaal Mark II at the minute. That is... Nah, nah. You know what, I'm going to see you're unlucky, but if you repay me with a defeat in your next game, I'm going to be so annoyed. Because they were down to 10 men and they they played it around us. 57% possession is not good enough. Somehow we're only 3 points off, well, actually we're not because everyone else has to play another game. That Schweinsteiger penalty miss has pissed me off. Oh, all right. So that perhaps wasn't the best FM episode, but hopefully we can improve in the next episode. I'll try and find a way of uh, scoring more goals, shall we say. Let me know if you've got any suggestions in the comments. Of course, this is a series designed for you. So 
you know, any suggestions, I'll take them on board. But anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. So, uh, well, we'll end it by looking at the table, I suppose. So currently, we are 11th, which is piss pot. Five points off league leaders Chelsea, who we have next after CSKA. So doesn't get any easier, but after that, we should be able to pick up a fuck ton of points. Or oh, that's the theory anyway. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Any suggestions, leave them down in the comments. Like the video, and yeah, peace.